In this video, I am going to walk you through the process of how to create the automated shout outs that you've seen the shift doing this year. The first thing you're going to want to do is create a Google form with the information that you want to collect. So I will include a copy of this Google form itself. You can go and when you're in the Google form, you can go to the three dots and go to make a copy. So you can make a copy for yourself and customize it how you would like to. So you're just going to want to make sure you're collecting email addresses because that's going to be very important for setting up the automation. And then you also want to collect any other information that you want to kind of show up in those shout outs. So you can take a look at that form. I don't want to spend too much time here because it's not really the purpose of this video. The other thing you're going to need is you're going to want to create a Google Slides template where the, the information is going to populate. So again, I'm going to share a link to this form here, or sorry, this slide here, and you can go and go to file and make a copy and take a copy of this presentation. Now, as you're kind of filling out this slide and you're setting it up, you're going to notice you've got these double arrow um, things at, at each side. So what this is, is it's called a tag and it's what our Google Slides add-on Autocrat is going to recognize and then pull data from our spreadsheet and populate in here. So anywhere where you want it to pull information from your spreadsheet, you're going to want to use these double greater than and less than signs and add in some sort of descriptive name inside. It doesn't need to match your form, but just something that you know, so you're going to be able to pair it up with the um, data from your Google Sheets and with this um, in Autocrat. Okay, so anywhere you want tags, you can see I've got a tag here for the you, I've got a tag for the oh yeah and, I've got a tag for the pick one and a tag for the from name. Now, once you've got all that set up, you're going to go into your Google form, into your responses, and you want to create a spreadsheet. So I'm just going to click on create spreadsheet. I want to create a new spreadsheet and I'm going to hit create. This does take a second, but once it's created, this is where all your information from your Google form is going to populate. Now to get started on the automation, you're going to go to add ons and you're going to need the to add the add on autocrat. So I already have it in here, but if you don't have it in your add ons, you're going to go to get add ons. And then in here, you're just going to search for Autocrat. And once you find that, you're just going to click on it. And then you're going to have a button here to install it. So you're just going to click on install, allow all the permissions. It's totally fine. Keep in mind that for our school board, this tool is yellow listed, so it's only available for use with staff. No student identifying information should go through this. So it's perfect for setting up these shout outs. Once you've got that add on, you're going to go back to add ons. You're going to go to Autocrat, and then you're going to go to launch. And it takes a second for it to launch. But once it's launched, then from here, we're just going to kind of get guided through the process of setting up this automa automation. So we're going to click on new job. And then from here, we're going to give it a name. It doesn't really matter what you call it. Um, call it something that makes sense to you. So maybe it's a shout out for and then you might put your school name there. From there, we're going to click on next. And then here's where we want to choose our template. So we're going to go to create a, uh, or sorry, choose our template from our drive. And what's nice about this is it picks up your most recent. So as long as you've, you've set up that 
slide recently, you should it should be fairly easy to find. So here's my Google Slides, the shared one. I'm going to pick that and select. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to map the columns to the tags that we have in our slides. So our first one, the U, if we go back to our slides, you can see it's this U with the colon column here. And so that one maps to the one with you. Okay. And you're just going to work through each of these. So the oh yeah and is going to map to my oh yeah and column. It does help to kind of pick those names then with the tags to help you identify which one goes with which because it does help a little bit here. So the pick one goes to pick one. The from name maps to the from first name. And then the to name maps to the to first name. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. And once I finish that, I'm going to click on next. And then from here, we want to give the file a name. So I kind of like to use the tags. And I'm going to call it a shout out to and then I'll add my tag of the two name. Okay, so that's exactly the same tag as I have in here. I'm just adding that in there. And what's really nice about this is every single file it creates, it's then going to pick that first name and create those individual files for you. I do want to create Google Slides. I'm just going to leave all of this else as the default settings and click on next. And then from here, I want to pick a folder. So I'm going to click on choose folder. It's going to connect to my drive again. And I just want to make sure I'm putting it somewhere that makes sense to me. So uh, let's see. I'm just going to actually pick one of these random folders, but you would want to create a folder in your drive. Actually, maybe let's go do that. Um, let's create a folder in this file. So I'm going to call it shout out school name. And then I'm going to go back to autocrat here and search for that one. So shout out school name. And there's my file there. So I'm going to pick that one, select it. I do not want it in the shout outs folder. So if you want to get rid of one of these folders, you can just delete it like that. Uh, click OK. And so all of my shout outs are going to be generated in this folder. Make sure you pick a folder that's not your main drive or else your main drive is going to be a total mess. We're going to click next now. This one we can just skip. It doesn't really do anything for us. We're just going to click next. And then we need to add a merge condition. So setting this up, you're thinking about, well, every time I get a submission to my Google form, I want it to send out a shout out. So we're going to add that condition in here. We're going to add the condition. And since we have a column of timestamp, we're just going to use this default setting equals not null. What that means is this job will run every single time that that column has something in it and isn't empty. We're going to click on next. And then from here, we can set up our email preferences. So we want to share the document. Yes, we want to share it as and then you can choose here editable view only, common only. So lots of different ways that you can do that. I'm going to leave it as editable. I want my collaborators to reshare, but that's totally up to you. And then if you kind of want to protect your own email address, you can send it from a no reply email address. It's kind of nice because then you're not getting all the email emails back because people do not know who it's from. All right, so we're going to set up our email here and we need to add in our tags for the two. So we wanted to pick from this column here the two email address. So I want to copy that exactly the same as our column header. 
And I kind of like to CC the person that it's from as well. So totally up to you if you want to set this up, but I kind of like it. And then we are going to put in our subject. So it's, you know, maybe it's a shift shout out to, and then you can again, use the, uh, the tag. So you could use the two name in here. And then you want to type your message. So you can say, hey, and then we want the first name again. Um, you've been rocking it lately. And it hasn't gone unnoticed. Um, I noticed, OK, I'm not going to type any more there. But then I'm just going to put a from. And then I'm going to add in my tag from my um, from name, okay? Because I want that to pick that up. And actually, I think what I'm going to do with these tags is I might want to make sure it's just picking up the same columns here. So I'm just going to actually change these to make sure that nothing funky happens. Oh, probably help if I spell first correctly. Okay, and then let's put the from one and make sure it matches that too. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. You can play around with this, do all kinds of uh, sort of fun stuff in there. I'm going to hit next. And then I want this to run on a form trigger. So every time that there's a new submission to the form, it's going to trigger this job. So it's going to automatically run for you. Now it does ask you to confirm, you're just gonna say yes. It's gonna update the project triggers and then we're just gonna hit save. Okay. Now, if you already have a few populated in here, you could for the first time click on play and it will run the job for you. So you can set this up after the fact, but you don't you don't need to uh, to press that play if it's a brand new doc. Now, when I did press play there, you'll see it created some other different columns here. And so that's just going to give you some data in terms of what's happening to as it's running the autocrat sequence and any kind of issues that it has it'll it'll basically notify you in one of these columns and say like fail to run and give you some reason why so it can help you troubleshoot a little bit you don't want to touch those columns though you want it to just let it do its thing and run so that's pretty much how you set up Autocrat and how you set up the shout outs. Hopefully this video helped. Let me know if you have any questions.